aspects as well of all the bigger predators that have been persecuted and hunted by humans for the last couple of hundred years, the last thousand years actually. Leopards are the ones that have been able to survive in many areas, still get them spread out different parts of the world. Jaguar, another variation if you want of a leopard, very similar behavior and, and look even. Unfortunately, some of the, like the snow leopard and the ammo leopard becoming very rare. But leopards as a species across the world still doing very well exactly because of this. They're very good at not being seen and doing their own thing. It's almost like this little cub at this age already knows that. Mm, look at that face. Peter, Peter Mulberry, come on. Uh, is it Peter, huh? Okay. Alright, same this side. But if you want to come sit this side, it's a beautiful view of the cub on this side. We can just swap positions if you want. I don't know how you can see there. Yeah, no, that could be great. Well, I'm going to make a space here. I'm just going to go around to that side, please see what we can see from there. Thanks, Morris. We're going to spend a bit more time with these ingwers, Sasekilo and Gorfia, and then we'll come back there. Thanks, Morris. Guys, fantastic view from this side. We're just going to give the other vehicle a bit of a chance as well. We'll go sit on that side. Get much more beautiful than that, eh? Yeah, just such a stunning view of that cup. As you can see, a lot of thick bush around here as well. I'm managing to find some gaps in and out. How is it? The second one, thank you. People loving it out here. Really, it's just something so amazing to see, to spend time with leopards so close where they don't mind you being here, behavior being natural. It really is something that, it's not many places in the world or many places in Africa you can really experience leopard like this. That is really one of the things Sabi Sands in general is known for very well. Incredible leopard experiences here. Very comfortable position for this cub. Got a perfect big branch to lie on. Legs either side, tail around the back. Easy balance. This would be the equivalent of sleeping on a very comfortable mattress, day bed, hammock. Whatever we as humans find comfortable, this is this is what the leopard finds most comfortable.
so many beautiful colors. Oh, here's the hina at the bottom. Coming back for another squiz around. Oh, another piece just fell. You see, that's what the hina is waiting for. Karula up in the tree busy eating, and as she's eating a piece of bone or something from the carcass, just dropped down. And the hina's there straight away to grab it. The spotted hyena, to be more specific, it's by far the most known hyena species of Africa. They widely spread out. Awesome animals. Just having a sniff at the vehicle there. You also get a brown hyena as well as a striped hyena, but they typically more in the deserty areas. Uh, in the case of the brown hyena, and the striped hyena is more North Africa. You don't get them in the southern part of Africa at all. So hyena has been around a bit. It's one we see every now and again. You see the right ear is sort of a bit floppy. Easy enough to recognize her. What we have to call her floppy ear. This area that we're in, because there's a lot of other large predators, mainly leopard and lion. And if you go a bit further east and south of here, you also get more cheetah. So hyenas can do very well on scavenging alone. Even though they are quite competent hunters and they will hunt around here as well. A large part of their diet consists of scavenging off these other predators. In some cases, even stealing whole carcasses. In other words, if the leopard caught something and it didn't get it up a tree quick enough, the hyenas will take it from or even if it's maybe a single lion nest with a kill five six seven hyenas together can drive them off so not always just the bits that fall down they sometimes get the whole carcasses as well but at the same time very good hunters especially when there's a bit more easy terrain this area that we're in here is quite thick that's why the leopards are so comfortable in it there's a little bit more space so hyenas can run down prey very well sort of almost like wild dogs or wolves would do very good at just endurance running and just chasing down prey you see again this little cub finding this hyena very curious same bit of a arrogant comfort almost looking down at the hyena the sound of it, Karula is chewing into some bones now, literally the last dregs of the carcass, that's also why bits and pieces will fall down every now and again.